Hi, I'm Akina. Hi, I'm Dustin, and we're here with the Japan Questions Answered channel. Today we have a very interesting question. What is that question, Akina? Today's question is When do Japanese people wear kimono? Yeah, I think that's an interesting question because it seems to me like it's feast or famine with these kimonos. Feast or famine? Sometimes you walk around and like it seems like everyone's wearing one. Then sometimes you walk around, you don't see any of them at all. So it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know, what's the master plan here? Master plan? <laughs> I don't know if this is a master plan or anything, but、uh, normally, I think, in my personal humble opinion,、okay. if you don't do anything to deal with Japanese traditional culture, training or courses or lessons, like a tea ceremony or flower ceremony or Japanese. Traditional dance, then you don't really have many chances to wear kimono. Okay. So, do you, are you involved in those traditional courses or no. not? No.、Okay. No. So, then how many times did you actually wear a kimono in your life? In my life? Yeah.、Um, I think it's six times in total. Okay. It's just six in my life. Entire Wait, life. Six times in, in your life. I was thinking more like six times in a week. <laughs> you're telling me six times in, in your life. Oh, yeah. okay.、Um, yeah, so what's the rundown with that? I heard that children get a chance to wear them. I don't know. Yeah, like、uh, there are some customs to wear kimono or to, to dress up in kimono.、Mm -hmm. One is、uh, Shichigo san, which is some custom to、uh, wear kimono for kids.、Um, for girls, it's Three years old and seven years old.、Mm. And for boys, it's five years old. Okay. And、um, then you wear kimono, then go to a shrine to wish、uh, good luck for the future or like thank for the good health to, to turn like three years old or five years old or seven years old. So that's one, that's one thing. So boys have the five year olds and、mm. the girls have three and seven. Okay. Yes. So next. the next. Then we don't really wear kimonos, I guess. Then there was coming age. Coming of age? Yeah, coming so, of age. Coming of age. When you turn 20, which is now 18, because we just changed the law about、oh, that、really? <laughs> adulthood. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so like, when I, for me, that was 20.、Mm. And、uh, I wore my mom's kimono for my 20 years old. And I went to a photographer and、I、took a picture. Then sometimes,、uh, usually cities have an event、mm -hmm. for those new, newly new adults. Ah,、uh, okay. So I actually don't go I, didn't go, I didn't go, so I don't know what happens, but、okay. people can get together again and some reunion and get some nice speech from, you know. Some random people in the some, town. Yeah, random people with a title. Okay. Yeah. So that's another thing. Then、um, sometimes, if you go to a college or university, you might wear kimono for a graduation ceremony. That's cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but、cool. this is kind of different because when you、uh, wear this kimono for、uh, the graduation, we tend to have、um, trousers on. Interesting combo. Kimono plus trousers. Yeah, like it's called hakama, and if you think about samurai, they are usually wear. Trousers, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Kind of、okay. like long skirt trousers. Right. That's called hakama. Okay. So it's kind of different, but still、uh, kimono. So、nice. that's, that's one thing. Okay. Then. Did、uh, you wear that for your. Yes. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. So、um, then we don't really have any chances to wear kimono other than、uh, maybe for friends' wedding, which、mm -hmm. I did for once. But that was very expensive. Like, they're so. Few people who can wear kimono, so you have to go somewhere to dress up in kimono. Oh, yeah. Then that'll cost like、um, a couple hundred dollars. Then once you wear it, then you have to put, in the, the, put the kimono to cleaning. Yeah. Then that'll be another couple hundred of dollars. It costs a hundred dollars to clean a kimono? Yeah, more than that, I think. This is stacking up pretty fast. Yes. So that's kind of one of the reasons we don't really wear kimono anymore. Yeah, that because, adds up. Yeah, it's just too expensive and it's just basically so like, really tight. It's kind of like you're wearing c o r s e t around、okay. you. So you can't move, you can't eat. But、um, 
Let me get this straight. You got you wore it when you were three, seven, coming of age. Yes. Graduation, which you were wearing a samurai outfit for that. <laughs> the wedding, okay, and then there's one more time. You said six times you wore. Uh, that was actually with you. Oh. Yeah. Nice. When we went to Kyoto, we、uh, rent a kimono, and、mm. if you go to somewhere touristy area like Kyoto, Asakusa. Then you can rent a kimono for a few thousand yen for a day. Yep. It's really good actually. I wouldn't say the kimonos are be the best quality, but you still get the chance to wear a kimono. Gotta get those photo ops in. Yeah, you liked it, didn't you? Yeah, it was awesome. Although that particular day we wore the kimono, it was a little <laughs> bit hot. The weather was a little hot,、um, so we were kind of sweating, but it was cool. I, I mean, I liked it a lot. And there's that other thing you got in the summertime too, right? It's、uh, it looks like a kimono, but apparently、uh, it's not the、uh, yukata. Is that yes, it? Yes, yukata. Yeah. It's kind of different. It's still、uh, kind of kimono, but it's more like really easy version, and、uh, it's kind of like a bathrobe basically. Okay. Used to be, but、um, we started thinking yukata is like really sexy and cute. Sexy. <laughs> <Okay> . Especially like. Around your neck, like behind your neck, it's supposed to be really sexy. Neck. <laughs> yes. People are into necks around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when okay. especially when you wear、uh, okay. kimono. I mean, you kimono or yukata. Okay. So young girls started wearing it for summer events like、uh, festivals or fireworks events,、mm. and、um, then they got on a date with a guy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys started wearing yukata too. So during some time, maybe you'll see more kimono in Japan. So if guys like girls next, do girls like guys next too? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Okay, okay. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. So yeah, thanks a lot for your very thorough answers, Akina. You did a great job. In fact, I think you did a real great job. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to learn more about Japan, especially some negative aspects that no one ever talks about, because usually YouTubers talk about how amazing everything is in Japan, everything's so perfect. If you want to learn about some things that aren't perfect, we have a series called "The Dark Side of Japan," which we have on our Patreon only. You can check it out if you're interested. We got a link down below. Or if you want to ask us your own personal question, feel free to leave that down below in the comment section. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching this video, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you leave a comment? Let us know what you think. Thanks. Thank you.